Oh, freak six, we have a security breach. Breach annihilated. Just checking around, everything else seems to be clear. Yeah, we had a security breach. It's hotter than freak out right now. I don't even know what the temperature is, but uh, I went outside for a cigarette and I didn't need my coat. So that's pretty sweet. Well, I don't think the girlfriend let the dog out this morning because I woke up to Oreo in his crate covered in shit. So that was fun. Had to deal with that. Ugh, frig sakes. Like, not happy. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna try and get my hair cut today and see how that's going. See if that's possible because this thing's starting to drive me nuts. So let's go do that and welcome to my vlog. Alrighty, let's go find a new salon or hair cutting place or you know what I mean. This guy's got his work cut out for him. He's cutting his freaking gutter. And his gutter's concrete. Figure that one out. Yeah, it's 21 degrees Celsius out right now. This is, my friends, really weird weather. I shouldn't be wearing a jacket, and for some reason I am. But right now my concern is not why I'm wearing a jacket. My concern is, is getting my hair cut because I'm starting to get the headaches. Now a lot of you are probably not sure what the hell I'm talking about by headaches. Well, basically my hair is like an insulation pad. Therefore, when it gets thick and bushy like it is right now, it tends to retain a lot of heat. And while it's retaining heat, it causes my head to overheat, and it makes my brain hurt. Therefore, the hair must get chopped. So, I'm going to try out this first choice place in my quest for finding a new stylist, or hair cutter, or barber, or whatever the freak you want to call it. Ah, look, it's a Ford Puma. I mean, Mercury Cougar. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm also copying a bunch of files over to my pen drive, which I need to bring to work with me tonight. Because I need to take some files off my laptop. Keep forgetting to bring my pen drive, it sucks. But I'll remember tonight. So. What a gorgeous day out today. This doesn't make any sense. Yesterday it was like eight degrees out, six degrees out. Today's 21 degrees out. Here's hoping the weekend's like this too. They're saying it's supposed to be all nice all weekend though, and then by Tuesday we're gonna get nailed with snow, which makes complete and total sense to me because Wednesday's Halloween. And I don't think we've had, we had one year and that was my pre, pre my YouTube days, where I, the one night I decided to hand out candy ever at my house. And it was a nice warm day like today, except for the fact that no one came to the house. I, I maybe gave out candy to 10 kids. And when I was finally bored of it, the last kid that came, just a little guy with his dad, came over, said trick or treat, and I said, ah, you know what, kid? Today's your lucky day, and I poured the whole bowl right in his friggin' bag. <laughs> the, old, the old man looks at me, and he's like, uh, holy crap, uh, what about the other kids? And I'm like, what other kids? I'm like, you're like my 10th kid tonight, and I've been out here for an hour. I'm done. Nobody wants to come here for candy, so... You know what? Frig it. Take it. I'm done. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, and the kids' eyes are just like, holy crap, you know? So, yeah, I made some kids' day, and I got to put sitting in the in the garage handing out candy. So I figured it'd be easier just to pop the bay door, sit down the the, the stuff, you know? I had family guy, I don't know, what did I have playing in the background? I think it was probably Star Trek for all that, for all I know. I had something playing in the background on my 20-inch TV, some movie girlfriend was working at Future Shop at the time, that, that I do know of, so she was just getting off work, she got home, she's like, oh my god, you actually got rid of all the candy, I'm like, yep, to one lucky kid, it's like, because I quit, holy shit, that's a nice car, whatever that is, I don't even know what the heck that thing is, well, that's an A-pillar, well, that's a nice car, too bad, buddy probably thinks it's worth like five, six, seven grand, the buddy who runs that car lot is off his rocker with prices. Thinks everything he owns is a freaking gem. Well, we'll go over to First Choice because that's where I was recommended to go to get this thing cut. 
So, yep, we'll go there. We'll get this thing cut. And I don't know, maybe we'll check out the hawk shop while we're around there and see what kind of kife deals they have on stuff. first choice and it's right there so where can I put my car we may have to park right here yeah uh, this will be all right all right let's shut this down and I'm gonna get my haircut I'll be right back guys so this is me before this is my new haircut freaking right this is awesome all right let's go not even two o'clock yet. Got in, got my hair cut. So freaking happy because the girl who cut my hair is the girl that I used to get all the time when I used to go to the Zeller's hairstylist. So just the fact that I got the same stylist means, guys, I found my new place of going for haircuts. First choice is good for me from this point on. So that is my new battle plan is to get my hair cut from there, from now on, because Forget, I'm just giving her. Like, this is ridiculous. But yeah, I'll be going there from now on because she was like the best person to get a haircut from because I didn't mind talking to her because she was funny. She's aware that I'm a YouTuber and thinks it's hilarious, you know? And um, yeah, she does a great job. So I can't really complain. So right on, right on. Now I'm gonna go home. Actually, I'm gonna go to a Hortons and then go home. I just don't wanna to go to the Hortons here because I call it the Derp Hortons for a reason. Because the people who work there are derpier than shit. And by derpy, I mean they are dumb. They don't freaking do anything right. I've already put in two complaints to that Hortons. So I'm gonna to go to the Hortons by the house because um, they actually know how to mix a cough. I'm like, always got time for Derp Hortons. Here's your coffee, GG, thanks for coming, you know. So yeah, I went to the hawk shop, found out those guys are off their frickin' rocker. Holy shit. First thing I was doing to go to the hawk shop was I checked the camera section to see if they have any diamonds in the rough. And they have an HG, a uh, Canon HG30 Vixia line. The HG30 is the hard drive uh, camera. So, eh, not really a fan of hard drive cameras. Like, I'm not a, I have no problems with cameras with storage on them already, but I'm not a fan of hard drive cameras. Why? Because hard drive cameras can't take shock. As in, if I had a hard drive camera mounted to the bracket where my Canon is right now, and I were to hit a good bump, chances are the hard drive wouldn't record the footage and it would be lost. That's why I am a big, big, shit, big, big fan of solid state cameras like my TM80 which has the built-in 32 gigs of storage or 16 gigs of storage sorry and the um, the ability to run an SD card like my other uh, Panasonic so I'm a big big fan of the solid state storage I'm not a big big fan of the platter storage because platter storage is obsolete there is honestly no reason to run platter storage anymore on a camcorder with the ability to run solid state drives. Holy crap's a noisy outside or nothing. But yeah, we'll go to the Hortons, get an extra large, slam that into us, and then we should be ready to romp. Oh, I'm so happy tonight I am not prime. But coming next month, you watch, I'll probably be prime at least four times a week for probably the whole month. Super am not looking forward to that. So, we'll go grab a coffee and we'll carry on with this day. God, that dump truck sounds like balls. I think somebody needs to go to the friggin' shop and get new brakes or something. I did buy something from the, from the hog shop, I should say. I bought a pair of speakers. 
uh, little friggin' USB powered speakers. They had them on sale for ten bucks, so I'll show those when I get home because they're 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 kind of neat, kind of sort of maybe neat. They're by a brand called Genius. Never heard of that brand before, so we'll see how smart they are. Apparently, they're geniuses, so friggin' right. Alrighty, welcome to Hortons. Alright, let's go order a coffee. And then we'll head her home. So I'll talk to you guys when I get home. So, uh, peace to freak out. Alrighty, well I'm home and these are the speakers that I bought. These genius freaking, they're green. And there's the price from the Hawk Shop. Not sure where you'd pick these speakers up in a general store, but for 15 bucks you can't go wrong, I guess. Now we'll have to hook them up and see how they sound. So before I left, I was copying a bunch of files over to my media server, right? I come back and it says media server uh, unreachable, and I'm like, well, why would it be unreachable? Probably see it behind me on the desk there. It died. So chances are it's probably just plugged with dust and overheating. So what I'm going to do is take it out to the garage and give her a good blowout with the compressor. We'll see how well that works. So let's go out to the garage. Okay, so we'll let that noisy bastard power up and we'll clean off this dusty son of a bitch. There, I cleaned it up the best I could. I'm going to let it sit and cool down for a while before I put it back online. If I get it up and running tonight, I'm going to copy all the contents over to my 3 terabyte hard drive. Because I have a feeling this thing's going to shut the bed any day now. Piece of shit. Alrighty, well, it's hard to see that, but it's 335. It's time to head her off to work and, uh, Get this shift over with so let's rock and roll so as you saw i cleaned out the uh server i'm just gonna let it sit and let its temperatures come down and stuff then i'll probably see if i can turn it on tonight when i get home from work hopefully i can otherwise every single bit of data is gone there is no recovering it unless i find a third party app that can do it which really really friggin sucks mind you on a plus side that gives me uh three more external hard drives to use for something else but on the downside is all those TV shows and movies and programs and ISOs and ghosted hard drive backups and all that shit is gone so that means I got to re-ghost my drive or re-image my drive I should say and store it elsewhere friggin sucks uh, I've been meaning to back that thing up for the longest time now I was gonna wipe my three terabyte hard drive that I had hooked up to my desktop and copy the server right to it and that way there I had that as a backup because I really don't use that drive for anything but storing old footage and I don't really need old footage like if I'm planning on doing a new title or a new intro to the vlog I'll just back up all the footage I already have and then give her so the way she goes those HP media servers are junk anyway so once again a nice fine quality product from HP it pays $600 for what a 1.8 gigahertz Semperon processor, a quarter of a giga RAM, and the ability to j -bot a bunch of disks together to make storage. Big sakes, I wish people would use their damn signal lights. Well, if I can get the server back up and running and copy all the files off of it, my battle plan is is to deactivate the server, copy all the, well, get all the contents off the server onto my three terabyte hard drive, and then I'm taking the server offline, because it's a pile of shit, and I'm gonna hook up the Acer computer back there, and uh, put it on as the media server. Acer server, Acer computer, that old Acer M1100. It's not fast, but it's a dual core two gigahertz instead of a single core 1.8 gigahertz. It's got four gigs of RAM instead of, you know, a quarter of a gig. And it's got a gigabit uh, network card instead of 100 megabits. So she'll transfer a little bit quicker, which is pretty sweet. Well, one bonus today, even though today's morning was complete shit, waking up with the dog's crate full of shit and the dog covered in shit, I had to clean off the dog and then clean out his crate pisses me off. At least I got my hair cut. That's a bonus. So I'm expecting tonight to be complete utter bullshit. Uh, now my car is getting 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Like, thank God gas prices are coming down. They've actually stated that uh, 
the price of gas might drop down below a dollar by Christmas. Don't know why they're being so generous now. The light's green and we're all just sitting here like a bunch of goofs. About time people started moving. Like what the cock's going on? Stay there, ass hat. <sighs> telling you people, I'm telling you. Today's a day of shit. Oh, and I bought those speakers to bring with me to work. Yeah, forgot them at home. Way to go, son of a bitch. I wanted to use them on my desktop for listening to voicemails and stuff because I have no speakers, so basically at work I got a shitty pair of dollar store earbuds. And by earbuds, I mean it's one bud, it's a mono jack freaking headphone. And I plug that in and I listen to it that way, but the cable on it's so short that you practically gotta lean right into the monitor. the way she goes. For every day of shit, there's a good day, right? Uh, green, people. Green means give or stink. Quit talking to your passenger and GTFO my way. Well, at least I found my friend who works at, who worked at the Zeller's place when I used to get my hair cut at Zeller's. At least I found out where she ran off to. She's over at the Magic Cuts. So, that's right on. Right on, right on. So I'll be going, or Ma she's over at the first choice, I should say, because Magic Cuts doesn't exist anymore. So, I guess first choice will be my only choice. I don't see them going tits up, they're an independent. That place is actually pretty busy today, but I was in and out really fast. Sure enough, it's pretty busy, but there's not many people, like there's a lot of people working, so they can fire customers around really quick. Where at Zeller's, they used to walk in there and it'd be like three people working, and two of the people were busy doing each other's hair so it's like one person cutting hair all day and it's like yeah it's gonna be about an hour and a half wait so it's like holy shit okay so you, you know you, you go over to uh, the freaking food place and grab a bite to eat and then go over to uh, you know the department areas and start looking at shit until they yelled your name over the PA system and that really sucked I hate waiting I like you know getting her done Get in, get her done, you know? None of this friggin' screwing around bullshit. <sighs> oh well. We got the, we got the uh, first choice, and that's where I'm gonna go from now on because it's friggin' awesome than frig. Didn't even realize that I was at 9 minutes and 48 seconds on my record. That's when you gotta stop the camera. This thing gets really hot when you're recording too. I'm probably just sapping the shit out of the battery. And I'm on the cheap Chinese battery too, so I don't expect it to last very long. If I can get a full day's vlog out of it, that's epic. The chances are, I won't. Well, you won't, you know. Holy crap, make the turn, people. I swear, some people in this town, they just, they don't know what the freak they're doing. They could actually make a show called North Bay's Worst Drivers and probably make 17 seasons out of the son of a bitch. So I did find out about that CC thing, that CC restriction for, um, for, for motorbikes, apparently it only applies to your age, not your uh, your years of operating a motorcycle. So like, let's say a 16 year old goes out there and gets his M class before he gets his G. Hey, I'm getting waved at, right on. Um, gets his M class before he gets his G, or she, whatever, and they're 16 years of age, they are restricted to a motorbike of 450 cc's or less. Which is probably a good thing, because when you're that young, your insurance is really kibosh. It's it's unbelievable how bad it is. So they're restricted to a low CC motorbike for learning on, where my age, I can get whatever the hell I want, because they expect me to be old and wise enough not to be an idiot and go and street race anything out there, you know? They expect me to respect the vehicle and, and drive it properly, rather than a 16-year-old who just watched the movie Torque, wants to go out and get a freaking crotch rocket, put some sparklers on his shoes and drag him down the street. So that's basically what the whole CC bullshit's all about apparently. It's based on your age, not your experience. So I can basically get a 650 and be okay with it. Or, you know, get whatever the hell I want for that matter. Well, stove this thing here. And I'm gonna head her inside and get this night started and over with. So, peace the freak out, people. Well, people, it's 5 o'clock break time. Actually, 6 o'clock break time. 
and uh, you're not gonna believe what happened. I got a new chair. Well, not really new, but I got another chair. Check out, check this out. I sent this picture to the girlfriend. This is classic. Look at the quality of the armrest. Friggin' mint, right? Friggin' mint for sure. So sure, this one here does have working wheels, and you know it holds my weight up on the strut because the strut works. But I've already cut my arm once on the armrest because the uh, screw that goes through the bottom to hold the armrest. The wind is starting to pick up, so I gotta hide. But the um, screw that goes through the bottom of the armrest that holds the armrest to the actual arm is exposed on the top. And I didn't realize that and have my arm in there, and I dragged my arm across it and cut my arm. So. Oh well, whatever. Nothing a little bit of freaking paper towels and tape won't fix. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to redneck repair it and I'm probably going to use some duct tape. Yeah, I'm going to keep a real redneck. Go to the dollar store tomorrow, pick up some foam padding and some uh, duct tape and come in and engineer myself some new armrests. Redneck style. Because uh, all I asked for was new wheels for my old chair and instead I got a used old chair, which apparently is my boss's old chair, so it's pretty kif. So yeah, the girlfriend leaves tomorrow for down south and she's not coming back till Sunday. So that means this weekend I have the whole house to myself. Pate, pate indeed. So I'm not sure what kind of bullshit we're gonna get into, but I'm just gonna freaking give her. Tomorrow is in fact flyer day, so that's a bonus too. So we get to see what kind of deals they have in the paper and stuff. And um, yeah, as for me, I got nothing else really to report on. So I'm probably gonna talk to you guys on my, on my lunch. So until then, peace the frig out. If I ever told you guys I hate troubleshooting Apple computers, I really do hate troubleshooting Apple computers, and I can't get away from the wind. Would it be so hard for Apple to include errors when something goes wrong? You know, it'd be nice when a customer can't get their email, and a general error comes up and says why, rather than A, doing nothing, or B, saying an error has occurred. Well, no fucking doubt an error has occurred. What's the friggin' problem? So then you gotta sit there and go through every little setting to find out what the problem is. And it ends up they just put an extra letter in their friggin' username. Oh, you couldn't have put a little error code in there saying an error has occurred, authentication failed, or an error has occurred, server not found. No, 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 just an error has occurred. Try and find it, sucker. Like, son of a bitch. I just spent 35 minutes on the phone with a customer with a Mac who swore up and down that his username was typed incorrectly. But little did he realize he had two eyes when he should have had one. Oh, way to go. Could have figured that out sooner if it would have said authentication failed. You know, I sat there, went through all the settings, had him retype the servers, try it, nothing, retype his username and password, try it, nothing, type it in again, then I said, okay, one finger, go. And I heard an extra key press, I'm like, what the hell was that? And he goes, oh, I accidentally hit the eye twice. I'm like, there you go, take it back out, do it again. Does it, oh, it's working now, what'd you do? And I'm like, I didn't do shit. You know, frig sake. That's all I ask for. That's one thing I like about Windows. That's one thing I like about Linux or Linux or whatever the hell you want to call it. When there's a problem, it generally gives you an idea where to start looking to resolve it. Mac OS, not so much. But people say, well, Mac OS doesn't break. Yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. Only problem is, is when it does break, it doesn't tell you what the problem is. For instance, One Pug Life. Last year when I went to his house to uh, fix his computer, he'd be in iMovie and all of a sudden he'd be doing something and then boom the screen would go like like kind of a faded background i would say please turn off your computer and turn it back on a problem has occurred it doesn't tell you what the problem is so once you do get the computer working again you have no idea where to start looking to find the problem to fix it brilliant brilliant design you know at least a blue screen of death from windows would notify you where the problem was and what program caused the fault not so much with apple kind of a pain in the cock oh well it's just the way she goes that's why they call it a kernel panic on mac os because the kernel panics and it doesn't want to tell you what's wrong because it's afraid you're going to hurt it. Anyway, I'm on lunch and um, I just thought I'd do this quick little update on my little rant on why I hate troubleshooting Apple computers unless I'm actually sitting in front of one. And, um, yeah. That train is loud. Gotta go. Alrighty, well it's 10.30 break time and I just discovered that it might be a while till I get my iPad mini. Apparently back in the day when the thought of an iPad mini was to uh, come out, uh, apparently Apple thought it was a stupid idea because who wants a 7 inch iPad, right? Well, apparently there's so many pre-orders and shit going on that they're not sure if they're going to be able to ship them to the big box stores on time. So there might be a delay for them going to the big box stores. 
So, not a big deal. You know, I can wait. I'm patient. I don't, like, need it tomorrow or anything. So, that's cool. Whatevs, right? This is weird. Sometimes the wind hits me and it's cool. Sometimes the wind hits me and it's hot. We're going to get a friggin' tornado of this, like, cold front. It like, friggin' hits the hot front and... We're going to have total frontal friggin' tornado action. Luckily, it won't go into the city. Hopefully not, because that would suck. Well, Rex has got to work early morning tomorrow, so no Hortons after work tonight. Just going to head her home, let Scruffy out, you know, go from there. Probably edit, upload, and go to bed. Actually, I want to play with this, this thing I got. It's um, an old program that I bought way, way, way back in the day called Fruity Loops. And I haven't really used it much because... I freaking went out, got the trial, liked it, paid for it, and was able to make some basic tunes. A lot of the old Arcane Fire and Ice stuff was made on Fruity Loops, but I wasn't ever good at it. And I just started watching some YouTube tutorials on it, and now I know a lot more about it than I did before. Yeah, I bought Fruity Loops from this place over the bridge, just over yonder, behind the uh, corner store there. It's called Acclaim Sound and Lighting. They sell a bunch of DJ equipment and all sorts of different things like turntables and those uh, drum machines and all that shit and well of course guitars and real instruments but they sell everything else like cordless microphones and all sorts of stuff so um, I ended up buying it from there. They had a sale on it so I was like frig right why not because I was going to buy it off the website but if I can get it in a box that's even better. So I managed to get a copy of that and uh, threw it up on my, my rig last night. Well, I put it on the new rig. I used to run it before off of an old Athlon FX60 2.66 gigahertz dual core. So I installed it on the i7 3.4 gigahertz quad core last night. And let me tell you, it's a whole different ball game. It runs freaking amazing now. But I uh, played with it for a bit and I forgot how confusing it was compared to something simple like Magic's Music Maker. So I've been watching some tutorials there and I want to go home and play with it and figure it out and see if I can make some really wicked beats for Arcane Fire and Ice. So that's my plan tonight. Probably going to dick around with that for a bit. Pop an allergy pill, pass out, and then tomorrow onward into Friday, right? Good times into Friday. Also reminds me I got to go to the mall tomorrow. I'll clear the P.O. box and I want to go to the dollar store to pick up some duct tape and some foam because I am going to do the ultimate redneck repair to my chair. And then I'm going to post the picture to thereifixedit.com. Why? Because I'm like that. So, anywho, I should head her back inside and get the shift over with. So I'll talk to you guys at midnight once I get out of this place. So until then, peace the frig out. Alrighty, people. Well, it's friggin' midnight. It's time to head her home. So, uh, let's jump in the G6 and get the frig out of here. We gotta go home. We got things. Alrighty, people. I'm home now. And I was wondering something. I don't know if anybody out there has tried this yet. I thought about it on my drive home. Has anybody ever tried to run three displays off of GeForce 550 Ti? <laughs> The reason why I ask is it has the three ports at the back, right? The HDMI and the two DVI ports. And I don't know if you can use all three same time or if the HDMI, the second HDMI, or sorry, the HDMI port shared with the second DVI port. So the reason why is I might decide to put that television on my desk and run the 20 inch with the other two 20s and then have a triple display. But I don't know if the 550 can handle it or if you're able to do that. So that's what I was wondering because I can HDMI that guy because I believe it does have HDMI ports on it somewhere. I could be wrong. Let me check. Stand by. I just checked and yes she does have one HDMI port. So I was thinking about running that in the center and the two Samsungs on, on each, either side and that would give my editing suite a triple HDMI setup and that would be kind of pimp or a triple screen setup I should say. Holy shit, Adam, get with yourself. So I was thinking about doing that, but I don't know if it's actually possible. So if anybody out there's actually done that, the card I have is the EVGA 550Ti. So, yeah, I don't know if it's actually possible. I, don't know, I, I kind of threw out the manuals for it and stuff, so frig, I dicked on that one. But anyway, people, we need to shut the vlog down, get it edited and uploaded. I want to get to bed early tonight, get up early tomorrow. We've got some shopping to do, we've got some flyers to go through. Got a lot of shit to do tomorrow. We got a redneck repair to do to a chair at work. Why? Because they don't want to fix it. So you know what? I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it real redneck. If you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to respond. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.
a six o'clock break. Still waiting for that icy chill burst. Freaking allergy pills. But um, yeah, so far tonight's been not too bad. Not too good, but not too bad. And yeah, I'm just now getting to uh, looking at comments. I am super freaking wiped out, people. That allergy attack kicked the living shit out of me. So tonight I think I'm just gonna go home and go to bed again. No coffee, nothing like that. Go home, crash out, sleep. And hopefully tomorrow I'm not woken up by the girlfriend who's in a hysterical panic because she can't find something. Friggin' sakes. So that'd be the plan for me tonight. Right now I got the coffee pot upstairs, heating up some water. Now I'm gonna have a couple cups of coffee and try